In this video, we're going to take a look at the interactive analysis capabilities of DFM Stream and CAM350. Uh, what I have on the screen right now is the current version of uh, DFM Stream and CAM350. And we're in the Streams checklist area. This is one way to run analysis where you run all the various checks at one time in a batch mode. So as you can see, we have the different layer types, we have the different checks for each layer type, and then we have any parameters that you might want to fill out, both in a, a spreadsheet mode as well as a matrix over here. Filtering is available down here at the bottom, decodes, layers, and so forth. This is the streams methodology, which is addressed in a, another video. We're going to take a look at the interactive checks today, and those exist here under the Analyze ribbon from cleanse data all the way over to drill and mill in the current version. As we add new checks, they will show up here as well. The idea of the interactive checks is that you may just want to run a group of checks or maybe just an, one individual analysis on a design. Here would be an example where we're just going to run annular ring. Now, what we can do, of course, is we can have different values for uh, different types of elements in our design. So maybe our via pads for mechanical vias, we want at least five mil annular ring, but laser, maybe we can go down to three. And if we want to separate out blind and buried, or if we just want to address that with the laser check, we can. So it's up to us. We can turn things on or off here. Press fit pads, maybe you need uh, maybe you need four there. Your component holes, uh, you probably need something like seven. You, this is starting annular ring, and this is versus the drill size, not the finished hole size. Now with vias, you know, that's typically the same, but with a component hole, you're looking at four or five mils over. Anyway, this top one is just kind of a generic check that it looks at everything and if you do have the version of cam 350 with just drc and not dff this is the only one that you have available to you okay and then to run it we just simply come down here and we can run and we'll run inside the board outline and it's just going to do again whatever checks that i have identified here that i want to run and then it's going to show me the results down here in the Air Explorer at the bottom once it does finish. Once it has finished, as I said, it'll show me the results down here. And we can take a look at these uh, various ways. Uh, it's the same as if we would run it in the checklist, except we just ran an individual check annual ring in this case. And I can still do things like chart these and see them in a bar chart as opposed to check, clicking on each individual analysis. I could go through it this way and, you know, just highlight maybe all of those. And maybe I decide, uh, you know what, looks like we have three and a half. That's okay. I could validate those. And then all we're left with is the, uh, the checks that fall outside of those parameters. So you can quickly get through a bunch of different errors, no matter how you use the analysis tools in CAM350 and DFM Stream. Uh, you can add notes, comments, uh, you can choose to validate items or invalidate items. All of this again is just standard analysis items in CAM350 and DFM Stream. So let's take a look at these uh, just quickly through them. Cleanse is a cleanup algorithm. I highly recommend you would run this before you run any analysis. Very important is to have a netlist extracted before you run an analysis. Uh, different types of copper spacing checks, uh, you know, everything from your standard pad to pad, pad to track, and so forth, to board outline, um, different types of pad to pad, and uh, drill spacing, different types of drills spaced to each other. Annular ring, we saw. Minimum feature, uh, like your minimum width, your minimum pad size, minimum gaps. These can be polygons, and same with minimum width. So, differing from just standard spacing, these can actually be a polygon and can even be same nets and still have an issue. 
Copper geometry, uh, you're looking for things like pads without drills and then all of your sliver checks. Uh, copper slivers, glass slivers, and so forth. We have a set of checks specifically for negative planes. We realize not all CAD systems do negative planes well, so you need some sort of analysis to make sure that uh, the uh, thermals and the clearances have come out with the correct sizing uh, on your negative planes. Solder mask checks, uh, standard, making sure we're not exposing traces, making sure we're not putting mask on pads, and then some some other checks like looking for solder mask slivers and that sort of thing. Some assembly checks, pretty rudimentary, but we can do a part to part using the part outlines or we can do a pad to outline check on, on all of your parts or you can even specify which parts that might be in your design. Of course, that requires intelligent data to do that. Silk screen, uh, you know, the standard ones, making sure we're not putting silk screen on a solderable area and a minimum silk screen width as well as a silk screen to board outline check. Paste mask checks, uh, making sure we're putting it where we want to and not putting it where we don't want to. But then we even have the IPC ratio checks in here as well. So if you're an assembler or somebody creating stencils, you're going to want to take a look at that. And then drill and mill. Um, there is a whole matrix on different drill types two different drill types. So instead of the one that was under the copper spacing, which is drill to copper, this is actually drill to drill type checks. So those are our interactive checks and you run those uh, individually. Uh, once you have run one though, if you like the values, you can hit save to stream and then you can save it to an existing checklist or you can save it to a new checklist. So if I say Save to open stream. I've got that one open. I can add just this check, whatever it is I'm adding here, to that stream. This is also a good way to build up your checklist, is go through these individually, you know, get the parameters that you think are going to work best for your company, and then go ahead and set up a checklist based off of that. So once again, these are the interactive checks in CAM 350 and DFM stream.